Breast density is a risk factor for breast cancer, and it makes it tougher to find tiny tumors. We're going to teach you all about it. If you have very dense breast, as noted on your mammogram report, that imparts to you a double whammy problem. On the one hand, increased density makes you an increased lifetime risk for developing breast cancer when compared to the normal population that doesn't have as dense breast. And on the other hand, it is harder to find tiny little tumors when they're developing and more curable. Because of that density, it obscures us seeing them when they're small. So if you have breast density, I'm going to share with you your options, what you need to know, and what you need to do about it. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you exactly what breast density is. I'm going to teach you the challenges that come with screening women with dense breast. I'm also going to tell you why getting 3D mammograms are essential. And also some new technologies such as automated whole breast ultrasound that can help identify tumors when they're small if you have dense breasts. So let's get started. What exactly is breast density on a mammogram? Well, breast density is a term used by radiologists that read mammograms to describe the hard to see through tissue, thicker tissue, within a breast on a mammogram. Some women have no density on their, in their mammogram. Other women have severe density. But when you take the women that we categorize as dense breast, about 30 to 40 percent of women have dense breast. The problem is, is that if you have very dense breast, it imparts, for a reason we cannot explain, an increased lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. There's nothing that you can do to make it go away, nor is there anything that you would have done to develop breast density. It's just a part of you. If you're younger, let's say you're getting mammograms in your 40s, Women in their 40s have a higher incidence of breast density than when they're 50 or 60 or 70. So women lose density in general as they age, but that's not true for every person. The medical community is still learning about breast density. We really don't know what causes it. We're trying to learn what it means for you and what we can do to work around this problem so we can find breast cancers very small, very early when they're curable. So why does breast density pose such a challenge when you're getting an annual screening mammogram? Well, think about mammograms going in annually. You have no symptoms, no lumps or bumps. We're trying to look into your breast to find things that you not yet are able to feel. And when you do a mammogram, if you have a low density breast, or no density breast, it's almost like x-raying through a glass of water. You can see almost anything so when it's really small. And if you have very dense breast, then it's almost like x-raying a brick. It's hard to find a little tiny thing in that dense area of breast tissue. And the radiologists use a categorization, a scoring. And I want you to remember this term, BI-RADS density score, B-I-R-A-D-S. BIRADS density score. And they score women on a score from one, low or no density, to four, extreme dense breast. And if you are uh, one or two, but three or four, that's considered high breast density or dense breast. So you can visit our website at breastcancercourse.org and we have a well explained outline regarding BIRADS score and why you should get that information from your doctor so you know if you have dense breast. Sometimes you never hear about that. If you do have dense breast, as I've shared with you, you're at an increased risk lifetime to developing breast cancer. And so the message is mammograms are still important for you if you have breast density, but they're just not, not quite as accurate. But make sure you continue with your annual screening mammogram, and I'm going to share more information about this topic and how to screen coming next. Why are 3D mammograms essential if you have dense breast? Well, digital two-view mammograms are everywhere. Take a picture in one direction, take a picture in another direction, the radiologist reads it, and it's a very good way to screen you for cancer. But 3D mammograms are made for women who have dense breast. Still takes x-rays in one direction, 
but the head of the x-ray machine arcs and it goes click, 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 click and takes a bunch of little images and it does the same in the others. And the radiologists use a sophisticated computer and terminal to look at these images and better look through your dense breast to find out if you have a small cancer. And also, it decreases the chance that the radiologists tell you to come back for a follow-up x-ray and it decreases the chance they recommend a biopsy that you never need it. 3D mammograms are not available everywhere, but they're rolling out across the country. And if you have very dense breasts, the Breast Cancer School for Patients recommends you find a facility that offers 3D mammography. A new technology designed for breast density is automated whole breast ultrasound. So let me tell you about it. You've heard of ultrasound where you place gel on the skin and you use a handheld probe to look into the body, the breast in this situation. Usual breast ultrasounds used to find a problem. You have a lump, you want to see if it's a cyst or a growth. It's very helpful. But it's not good for screening. Automated whole breast ultrasound is an FDA approved device and technology where there's an ultrasound pad that's placed on the breast and ultrasound can scan through the entire breast and then take that information and create a three-dimensional image. So then the radiologist can look at that three-dimensional image, compare it to a mammogram, and compare it to last year's automated whole breast ultrasound and find if there are new growths. Automated whole breast ultrasound is not everywhere. In fact, it's not available in many places. But when combined with mammographic screening and in women with very dense breast, it can increase the chance of picking up a small cancer by almost 50%. So if you are really nervous about your breast density and really nervous about your increased risk for developing breast cancer and want to go beyond a 3D mammogram, you can visit our website and there's good links to places that can guide you to facilities that offer whole breast ultrasound. If you have significantly dense breasts, the take home message is the following. Get annual mammograms and also 3D mammograms if they're available to you. 3D tomosynthesis is made for you if you have dense breasts. Discuss with your doctor. Ask them if you have dense breasts on your mammogram. Ask them to give you a copy of your last mammogram report and ask them what your BI-RAD score is. The terminology is actually changing but one, two, three, or four. Three or four, or very dense or extremely dense breast on mammogram. And have them tell you what to do about it. And if you really want to go the extra mile in your breast screening, if you have dense breasts, consider automated whole breast ultrasound. To learn more about breast density, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.